to talk about chapters 11 to 13 or the end of the book in A Single Shard by Linda Sue Park, okay guys? I hope that you enjoyed today's chapters. Okay, so even though the path to the Rock of Fallen Flowers uh, was steep, do you think that um, it was worth it? Um, do you think that tree, I mean, to tree or do you think it was worth it? And then the robbers came. Oh, the robbers, right? The beef. And what do you think about this rob, about the robbers? I mean, what, what more is this? Do you think that, um, why do you think that just because they, that they, they're probably poor, right? Just do you think that that's, they're poor? Do you think that's any excuse to um, rob people? No, right? So it's very, very unfair in my opinion. And also, um, do you, how? What do you think about this? Do you think that who do you think would win, Tree Ear or the robber? And also. Um, and then also like the first face, right? So um, he was so angry, right? And the first, and then so they threw the vases, right? That is so unfair, right? Um, I mean, if you had been Trier, how would you have reacted? Would you have actually, um, would you have actually like, um, would you have actually fought? Because Trier doesn't really fought, fight. Not that he really does have a choice, right? But anyway, if when she, how do you think that when, when you read this, how do you think that men would react to this? I was a little terrified because I thought that men was going to kill Trier. Anyway, if you haven't Trier, how you have reacted to all this I would I would I would almost faint maybe I would faint but I would be very okay but anyway maybe may, uh, but she notices that he never heard the crash so he so he begins to look around but um, the second base had broken still right oh this is so sad it's getting really depressing right so um, do you still like how Tree Ear kept hope? And um, and then Tree Ear decided that he was going to go to the Songdo and show the emissary the single shard. Well, that's how we got the name, right? The single single shard. But do you think that a single shard really will work? I thought no at first, but the emissary says yes. But let's keep on. But let's not talk about that until later. Um. So, and were you were you surprised about that? Were you surprised that um? When I mean, if you have been treated, would you have done the same thing, or would you have just gone back? And what do you think made Trier do this? I think it was just maybe hope. I think that hope is really important and that's how we know that he got the commissioner, right? So I think hope is very important in this story. It's, I think it's one of the main factors of the story. Um, how the story runs along is because of hope. Okay, chapter 12. Trier walked and walked, right? But Songdo, and when he finally got to Songdo, were you feeling nervous by that time? And that's what a good book does. It makes you nervous in a good way, right? It, it really impacts the story, okay? And also, Emissary, um, Emissary Kim, right? So he goes to Emissary Kim, okay? Right, and Emissary Kim says, yes, that Min is going to be, is going to, um is going to be the head potter, right? Um, and I mean, the thing was, what do you think made the emissary do this? If you have been the emissary, would you have done the same thing? I mean, I know that Min's work is good, but still, I wouldn't really do it because a single shirt doesn't really show a lot, right? I mean, but it shows that a little hope, just hang on to a little hope, it might work, right? But anyway, they went back to, so Trier went back, right? Were you celebrating by then? But then we learned that Crayman was killed, right? 
<sighs> in the midst, um, in the midst of such celebration, you know, I, I was very, very um upset at this. Um, and so, do you think that uh, this? Do you do you think that um how do you, what what part of cheer do you think um 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 when Cray Man went away what part of cheer do you think that he took away and I don't I mean I literally I mean part of Trier's soul what part do you think he took away the love well probably not the love um or or joy or storytelling what you can make up these parts really. Okay, but anyway, so tree ear, tree ear, um, Min, right? Min said this, okay? Min said, um, this. How am I supposed, I am, how am I to do it all myself? How are you going to, how are you to help me if you do not have a wheel of your own? And how is it that a wheel to be, and how is the wheel going, to, wheel to be made if you do not fetch logs of considerable size? Go! But then, Tria realizes that he could gonna have his own wheel. This is a very big celebration, right? Um, what? Well, um, of course, you felt happy. So I wanted to ask you, how do you think that Tria felt? Of course, it was happy, but more than that, I, I wanted to ask you really, do you think? I mean, tree ear. Um, you could add, use some adjectives, okay? And um, I've actually had the same thing. I worked really, really, really hard, okay? Uh, I, I had the same thing as tree ear. Um, I was doing violin, but it was all boring. I hadn't even done one note, but I kept on working on it, okay? And then I began to play the violin better and better, and soon I was really good and I did auditions and I passed so it was really good um yeah and so it sort of shows I kept on working like Trier did and I made my goal so that's one um one example okay and then at the end is the at the end um I'm gonna read the end it says a certain prudence face is among the most prized of Korea's many cultural treasures. It is the finest example of inlaid caledon pottery ever discovered and has been dated to the 12th century. The vase's most incredible feature is the intricate inlay work. Each of the 46 round medallions is formed by a white outer ring and a black inner ring. Within every circle carved and then inlaid with great skill, there is a crane in graceful flight. Clouds drift between the medallions and with more cranes soaring among the clouds. And the glaze is a delicate shade of grayish green. It is called the Thousand Cranes Face. Its maker is unknown. Well, Miss Tree here, right? What did you feel about that? I felt really emotional, right? I, I felt really emotional for some reason, probably because I know that Trier did it and it was Trier's dream, right? And actually, there's an author's note. I'm not going to cover that, but it's really, really interesting. So I actually read it. It was awesome. So I really hope that you enjoy, that you read and enjoy that part too. Okay, um, so today was pretty short, but we are done for today. Hope that you had a great time with me. I just wanted to ask you the last questions for this amazing book. First of all, what was your favorite part in these chapters and then the whole book? We finished the whole book. I'm, I'm so happy at the same time. I'm a little sad that we finished the book. Also, um, what was your favorite character and your least favorite character? You, I mean, the characters might stay the same, but sometimes they might change, right? Also, um, for Trier, what do you think happened next after this? Because even though we're guessing that Trier made the vase, right? Still, what do you... Excuse me. I mean, because we do know that Tree Ear made the vase, but still, we don't really exactly know what happened in between. So what do you think happened in between? And finally,
Emily, I wanted to ask you, how did you like this amazing book? One to ten, and how would you describe it? With um, how would you describe it? Um, and if you had to put a, if you had to put a review out on like Amazon or whatever, how would you describe it? How would you say? Um, and it's one to five, right? And five stars. I would actually put a full five stars, and I would be like this: This amazing, no this is an amazing novel in 12th century Korea. It shows the Korean culture and love and joy, and shows er and shows everything in between. It shows passion and pride. And it is just amazing, and it, and it helps you learn history. Very, very good book. This is a very, very good book, and it should win ten Newbery medals. I really enjoyed this book. I would put it like this. It's an amazing book, guys. Hope that you read this over and over and over because. Um, reading it over and over, it makes you get more out of text, and it's also just good to read it again, okay guys? So, I hope that you had a great time with me, and check out my other book vlogs, okay guys? And read it, keep on reading.